Guess what I did this weekend? Your girl is getting her Second Amendment on, okay? So a lot of you have been like, you know, asking what's next. What's next is we should get ready. And I'm, I have told you guys before that I do not feel prepared. Um, and so I am going to start getting prepared. Um, so I want to thank um, Max. Uh, his Instagram is below. I want to thank Max or above. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Um, I want to thank Max for taking me to the gun range in New Jersey, okay? Um... I was extremely intimidated when I walked in there, but um, Max was so cool and like he really just like taught me the basics and I, I didn't feel as fearful before. Um, um, you know, it's I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, they're heavy. <laughs> so um, one of the things that he was telling me to start is like, you know, just start holding dumbbells out for, you know, a few seconds at a time you know to start preparing and getting accustomed to holding something that heavy out in front of you um so y'all want to see me shoot <laughs> yeah so start off like this right so it's kind of push down slide it in okay push down slide in or you can use this. Now, it has to be facing this way. Put it over it, and then you use this. Push it down. Oh, okay, to make it easier. Right, it's a little I would probably have to use my nail. Yeah, I don't want to try to like, break the nail on my watch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because we need to load up quick. Okay. Okay, so one of the things that I learned, right, is that I have, he said, a cross-eyed dominance. So I'm right-handed, but my left eye is, domin is more dominant than my right eye. So I have to use, I have to squint, which is not, like, I think I'm, I'm more comfortable squinting with the left. So I have to think about squinting with the right. So... Um, when it got down to the shotgun, oh yeah, <laughs> Max had me with the shotgun. I was intimidated, but he was like, you could do it, girl, and I did it. So, yeah, check out me with the shotgun. Yeah, all right, so I handled that too, but it was a little bit more difficult for me because... The shotgun, you gotta have it kind of like aside, like up on your face, like right here, and so you, and then you usually look with that eye. But I'm trying to look with the <laughs> with the left eye, and I just couldn't get it in the sights. So um, every time I picked it up, I was having issues, and he's trying to, you know, help me out. And by the time we figured out how to correct that, and by to correct it, I have to shoot now. A shotgun with my left hand side which is not dominant and by the time i got that rifle in that arm it was so heavy because that's not my dominant side so if it was heavy on this side it was extra heavy on this side Try to end the end. and um yeah time was up like time was up so you know not only has max put me on to like um the whole second amendment game he is educating me on new york state laws he said that it is possible to get your gun license here and um so I'm going to like, you know, share information with you guys as I move forward because I am about what should we do? What can we do? And, um, and not like what rights can we beg other people to give us? You know, I'm just like, cause y'all don't see what's about to happen. I mean, okay. So not only is he teaching me about, um, guns and New York state gun laws and surrounding areas, gun laws as well. He is putting me on to preppers cause I was like, okay, I'm not ready. Like, I think we all need to be ready for a walking dead type disaster. Now, I don't really think that we're going to have to worry about zombies, but I do feel that, um, hmm, how can I say this? I do feel 
that it is always a possibility that something could go wrong as far as like electricity or you know water and things like that and we all should be prepared for situations like that because we have to remember even in natural disasters because in katrina we weren't prepared you know what I'm saying? Every time a natural disaster comes around, we aren't prepared. And then we have to go begging and crying. You know what I'm saying? George Bush or whoever else is in office at the time. You know, we got to go begging and crying and asking them to save us. And we have to start saving ourselves. We can't rely on them. We can't rely on the system. And then on top of that, yo, Max sent me this video of these guys called Marauders or something like that. Now, if you watch The Walking Dead, you kind of know a little bit about people like this. But it's, they're a bunch of people who are prepping to take your shit. <laughs> See, while you prepping, right, he, all of your stuff, they prepping to last for six months and then come get your shit. So, you know, we, I, I, let me tell, that just boggles my mind that that is your plan of action. But that's something that we have to be aware of. So even if you ready, you got to be ready, ready to defend your shit. Okay. Oh, and um, so the, the place that I went to is in New Jersey um, because one thing I learned um, you cannot rent guns in New York State. You have to go to New Jersey to rent guns, okay? The place where I went, um, I think it was $25 to rent a gun. Then you have to pay for the bullets. I don't remember how much the bullets were, but it was like $20, I think, for maybe 15 rounds, if I remember correctly, depending on the caliber of bullet slash gun that you use. Um, you also have to rent um, the ear things and the safety goggles. I don't know how much that is because Max had his own. Shout out to Max. Uh, Max had his own and, and the set for me as well. So we did have to do that. And then um, the stall is $40, like $40 and change for the hour. Um, but yeah, so, um, the information for that place is below, but I will be purchasing my gun from the black owned gun store, Redstone Firearms, um, support them. Um, you know, they've come under a lot of, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Opposition. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. I had to scan my mental, uh, card catalog. Yeah. So. They have uh, come up under a lot of opposition for what they're trying to do and helping us to be prepared and helping us get our Second Amendment and our sports shooting and everything on. And um, so, yeah, hit up Redstone Firearms. They're in California, so I can't go out there to shoot. So I have to go to um, the one in New Jersey, but I will be purchasing my gun from Redstone Firearms when I get my license. Yeah, I told him the next thing we have to do is I want to go camping. Like, I don't want to go camping because I'm a city girl and, like, I don't think like I need running water and I don't like bugs and all of that but I ain't stupid either and I know you know we had this conversation me and Max and I was saying I kind of feel like they fattened us up they purposely displaced us to the cities think about this they displaced us to the cities where we no longer have knowledge of the land because I was telling him you know my family's from the south so I am the first generation, you know, me and my cousins, we're first generation city dwellers. But my, my parents and my uncles and my aunts and stuff, they know how to hunt. They knew how to hunt. <laughs> they knew how to fish. They knew how to farm. They knew how to raise animals. You know, they knew how to do all of this. And I, and as opposed to me, who was born in Brooklyn, who my mother talks about how when the first time they took me to Louisiana and she put me in the grass, I started to cry because I, my feet had never touched grass before. <laughs> And that is sad, you know? And so as much as I, we are comfortable. We are too damn comfortable. And we have to learn how to live without this comfort. Because, I mean, come on. you. I don't think your third eye has to be wider than all outside to see what's going on outside. These are skills that we need to learn. You know, Maxim, Maxim and I were talking and we were saying, um, he was telling me how, you know, we need to learn how first aid skills, how to suture wounds, how to make natural saline um, IV drips out of Ziploc bags and salt and water because that's what saline is. You know, we need to know the, the, the all, I mean, on top of being able to cook food outside, um, how do you get water out of thin air? You know what I mean? Dehumidifier, you know, things like that. Like, so, um, like I said, I'm going to be taking you guys on a journey with me as I learn this stuff. And, um, you know, let me know if you're interested, too. Because if you guys aren't interested, then I guess I won't. You better be interested. <laughs>
I'm gonna force it down your throat. I also want to thank Max so much for like, he really was like, so when you really want to try to go to the range with me, when you go into the range with me, when you go to the range with me, when you go into the range with me, when you go into the range with me. When you go into the range with me. <laughs> And not in an annoying way, but like, I mean, he really um, was on top of me about this and made sure that I got out there. And um, I really appreciate that. And I look forward to um, learning more from you. VP9. A what? HNK VP9. Okay. SK. This is a smaller version, but you make love to your hand, this one. <laughs> but we're not going to use this one just yet. Okay. Right? This is the Sig Sauer P320. Okay. Still shoot the right. fire. Right. Alright, so I'm gonna show you a couple of rounds. Come on this side. Most most gun battles are between three and five uh -huh. Okay. So guess what I did? Watch this. Got these three fingers here. This palms here. Uh-huh. Wraps around like this. Fingers right. index. I extend out, I look through this. I put this at the front sight. So I look over here to see the whole front sight where my target is. I sit, remember, it pulls nice and slow. I do it, I put it against my body. You have to do it that aggressive. If you do it, you jam it up. Okay. Bring it up. 